Keep it a hundred, nigga, no, that's all I got your bitch counting up the cheddar Put seven stitches on my motherfucking sweater Balenciaga's when I'm motherfucking stepping yeah. Shout out my cousin, he just be the fun of me I can't be fucking with niggas with jealousy Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Samara, aka Night American Princess If you are new to this channel, just like, comment, and subscribe Because it is free, F-R-E-E Point blank period is free If you are part of the family, you already know what to do You have to keep on watching Okay, but before we get into this video, I know you got to accept this letter. I know you did. So we're going to do a quick little celebration. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so if y'all wasn't dancing, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but y'all should be celebrating for this big opportunity for you in this new chapter that you are about to start because it's an amazing thing to get accepted into pharmacy school because it is very hard and it's very challenging to even go through all of the application y'all i'm tired oh oh jesus i'm tired sorry y'all it's just an amazing accomplishment to basically complete when you get accepted into pharmacy school because it's very challenging through the application process the funds to apply for pharmacy school and things like that so you guys need to clap give yourself a clap on the back because baby you did it you did your thing okay but let's get right into the video because enough of celebration we got to get serious it's getting close to pharmacy school period In today's video i'm going to discuss 10 tips that you need to know before you enter pharmacy school okay this is going to be a lifesaver and you know your girl is trying to help you out you're going to thrive through this program okay so i am using my phone because i do have all of my tips on here and yeah so all right so number one you need to make sure that you're taking care of your body do not let pharmacy school stress you out because if it stresses you out you may end up leaving pharmacy school with high blood pressure diabetes you know the list goes on you need to make sure that you incorporate self-care okay into your schedule make sure you do that okay do not go crazy around pharmacy school because we don't want you to pass out nor nothing because if you're not there pharmacy school is going to continue to keep going okay so make sure that you put your body your mental health first okay? but number two you need to know your top 200 drugs. You need to know them, okay? So you need to be familiar with them. If you don't know the brand name for Velsartan, you need to you need to go study. You need to go study right now. But if you do, comment below and tell me what's the brand name, girl, and what is it used for? In order to know your top 200 drugs, I do have a subscription with this um, guy he basically made it easier for you and he kind of gives you like mnemonics and stuff for you to remember your top 200 drugs because it's very important you have to know it as a pharmacist you just it it's not you can't go around it and you just have to so make sure you know your top 200 um drugs throughout the whole program okay number three number three if you can Get you a job as a pharmacy tech or a pharmacy intern. It's very important, I would say, because you get more experience and you actually, um, it just helps you to retain all of the information, such as all of the drugs. You're just quicker with, um, you know, everything pretty much. Like, it just comes to you naturally. You're able to have good customer service when customers or patients come to you about certain questions about a drug or um, filling a drug or things like that. It's just better exposure for you to become a pharmacist you know it just makes you sharper and I feel like it's very important to to do it you know try to get try to get a job if you can number four brush up on your math skills especially your basic math skills okay so um, I feel like it's very important that you do it because your first semester or your first year of pharmacy school that's all you're gonna be doing is math so make sure that you get an RX prep book. Um, you can get it from Half Price Bookstore. You can get it on Amazon, whatever the case may be. 
it could be an old RX Press book. It doesn't have to be the newest RX Press book because I know the newest version are more expensive. So just get you like an old 2013, 2015, whatever the case may be, and just see the type of math problems that are being asked and things like that and just work them out as best as you can. If you don't get it right the first time, it's okay. Just look at the answers and see how they did it. Number five, go to your professor's study hours or hours, okay? Business hours, class hours, how, whatever they call it, just go. Okay, because you basically build a better relationship with your um, professors if you tend to go. But do not go just to be hanging out. What it is? Or what's up? What's up? And you know, like just being unprofessional about it. Go and ask questions. Go and actually, you know, try to gain a relationship with them. Because at the end, your professors are scientists, researchers, and things like that. And I'm pretty sure that they have good, good good recommendations letters that they can write for you if you plan on doing a residency or you know a job or whatever the case may be but it's very important that you understand your your um, professors and plus another tip is if you ask questions to your professor it also helps in understanding how they think so whenever you're studying for their exams and things like that you can understand especially if you go to their business hours you can understand okay well professor la 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 Ask, will ask a question something similar like this. This is a doctor blah 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 question. You know, things like that. So just kind of get your face familiar with your professor and then by the end, you're, y'all gonna be cool. Oh my God! Wow! Oh my God! Number six. Get familiar with micromedics and lexicon. I think every school, like, introduces micromedics into part two p2 i don't know every pharmacy school is different but you know get familiar with micromedics micromedics is pretty much like your dictionary of drugs like it just explains everything everything disease states going down okay so get familiar with micromedics personally i love micromedics better than lexicon but um you know just get just basically get familiar with either or and you'll be good um it's a good reference so if you're looking up a certain drug like the side effects for that certain drug um the contraindications you know things like that um these two um dictionaries because i call it dictionaries but these two dictionaries pretty much help you okay use youtube for your study tools okay i am going to attach two of my favorite um pharmacy based pharmacy based youtube channels i'm sorry y'all pharmacy based youtube channels that i love and it's completely a lifesaver it helps you understand in like less than five minutes sometimes the videos can be a little long but you know the longer the better all right so these two channels that i like is speed pharmacology as well as osmosis osmosis explains more about the disease states so if you need help on the disease states and let's say your professor's not explaining it better for you, you know, osmosis got you. It got your back. Speed Pharmacology is another good one. It basically um, demonstrates and goes over at me. You need to know this. I'm, I'm giving you guys some gems, okay? At me is A-D-M-E, all right? So add, A stands for absorption. Add D stands for distribution, N stands for metabolism, E stands for elimination. Okay, so if you know that, baby, when you go into school, when your professor's talking about absorption stuff, you're gonna be like, add me, so man, tell me something, man. But basically, speed pharmacology it just gets you to understand how the drug gets absorbed into the body and what it does. Does it get eliminated from the kidneys? And it just kind of explains it in depth for you. So, this is some really good two youtube channels that you need to subscribe while you're in pharmacy school okay it's important to network and be involved in many different activities like be proactive in school do not just sit in the classroom and just be that pharmacy student that just goes to class and that's it it's okay to make good grades and things like that but you also have to get yourself out of out there like you know it's important to just interact with other pharmacy students other um, pharmacists and um, other health professionals because the more networking you do the more it's easier for you to um, ask for recommendation letters as well as um, get jobs or whatever the case may be like be proactive in school don't be that student just locked up in classroom and just studying 24 7 don't do that but also 
if you are being proactive, make sure that you're not doing too much. Because if you're doing too much, your grade and your GPA can, can do something too much too. Okay, so make sure you're not doing all that. Okay, so be proactive, but be it reasonably. Okay, number nine, you need to get you some business cards. Point blank, period. It's not never too early, never too late. Just get you some business cards. I have a business card on me because throughout your pharmacy period, you're going to be networking, okay? So this is my business card. It's a little, it's a little wrong, you know. But with my business card, pretty much I just have my name. I have my little symbol. This is my school color, so I try to, you know, do what is due. And then also, um, you just put your email. And like, I know you guys are like, well, I'm a P1 student, whatever the case may be, blah, blah. Okay, no, who cares? What year you're supposed to graduate, just put class of 20, blank, blank, blank. Put your school, put your email, put your phone number. Your phone number is very important because they may just want to call you. Also in the back, I have my LinkedIn information. So if you don't have a LinkedIn account, get you one. Get you one, okay? Get you one. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, get you one. Okay, that's that's all I gotta say. Just get you number ten. Write down your goals of what you want to accomplish your first semester of pharmacy school. It's very important that you write down your goals of what you want to accomplish because when you're actually completing them and successfully accomplishing them, it just gives you some type of boost, and you just you know that's when self care comes into take, where you basically treat yourself, take you out, get you some wine, you know get you something to eat, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So whatever goals that you have set for the semester, whether it's a 4.0, whether it's um, good grades, whether it's building a friendship with people in your pharmacy school, whatever goals that you have, write it down, okay? Because I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. But other than that, I hope your girl, I hope your girl helped you and just woosa woosa i know you're excited i know you have so many different feelings because i remember i remember being you